Here we are in beautiful Eastern Washington out here demoing our prototype blue mobile trailer behind our trusty tow vehicle, which could be any SUV. This beast weighs around 4,000 pounds. It's based on a Humvee trailer chassis and it's designed for the ultimate off-road overland experience uh, originally designed to go to africa we're enjoying uh, this experience over here in eastern washington so again the whole idea around blue mobile is generating power and water from air and sunlight and taking it anywhere you need to to support either an outdoor weekend your remote work site uh, you know a beautiful future construction site here or if you're an emergency responder in any capacity so we'll break this uh, demo down a few few different ways we have uh, 1500 watts of solar on top and then we can put more solar uh, deployed from inside the trailer and we will do that uh, and demonstrate that later. Uh, we start off with a multifunctional work surface here and we have two compartments. We have our atmospheric water generator on the far side. We'll show you that. And then we got a compartment here that can uh, size to store a Dometic fridge freezer. Uh, today we just have a little igloo cooler in here keeping our beverages cold. Uh, you could also put a generator in here. It can hold a lot and take it wherever it needs to go. As you'll see, we have a fully integrated power supply inside. We have a six kilowatt inverter or a 12 kilowatt inverter. And we have a couple different lithium iron phosphate battery options. We have a 15 kilowatt hour can be scaled up to a 30 kilowatt hour. We're also looking at a 10 and 20. So lots of options, but the point is, it's about the size of a, of a Tesla Powerwall. And, and what we have is that inverter serves up two outlets. We have uh, all weather outlets here. This is 120 volts, 30 amps, um, power your RV, uh, can support your remote work site. And then we have a 240 volt, 30 amp, six kilowatt output. And again, we can upscale that to a 12 kilowatt output. What you'll see here is our work table. Um, and it's easy, it stores on the outside, and what it does is it covers our power panel. So we start by disconnecting that, and then ultimately what this does is exposes our, our power panel here, but it's easy to set up and erect. We'll see if we can talk and, and do this at the same time, uh, but you can see we can be up and operational in a, in a matter of minutes or a matter of seconds if you're skilled at doing this. And what this allows us to do is uh, turn it on here, gets our solar up and operating, gets our inverter up and operating, it engages the different outlets, and then we have our different fuses. So from a work standpoint, um, it's great for laptops. We have our 120 volt outlets right here. Uh, we control our additional solar panels, the ones here and on the other side, and then also we have our inverters on this side. So what you hear is uh, starting up, you can see with our panels facing the sun, it's always operating. And so we're charged at 54 volts, which is a lot of power in these batteries. So we're fully charged. We've been charging going down the road. Okay, I just wanna give you some details on our power panel. Again, it's simple, expose the power panel, just hit the power button. Uh, our system is up and operational. You can scroll through and see the performance of what's going on in the inverter, how many watts are coming in off the, um, solar panel in this case with our two panels are generating 645 watts um, and then so this is our controls our ac side this is our dc side so this is the master on and off for the solar panels the ones above plus the additional ones you could plug into this system and then this is the control for our 120 volts so we control our 240 our 120 and our different accessories which in this case includes um, these outlets our water maker and it's as simple as turning these on and firing the system up and so that gives you an example. We have indicator lights showing that they're up and operational. Um, so again, think about this could be a remote work site, plans, laptop. We'll show some pictures of that. This could also be uh, your search and rescue where you're coordinating. Your, first of all, you're charging your communications equipment. You're coordinating with your staff. We've also, we'll show, demonstrate power up our Starlink internet connectivity. Uh, so again, this gives your mobile base camp. It, you tow it by any kind of vehicle, take it to where you need to go. Uh, and we'll show you how much volume is on the inside of this thing. Okay, here we are. Just want to give you a sense of what's, you know, how big this compartment is. Um, what you see here is, again, typical Humvee structure. Very robust, you know, very sturdy uh, back work table. Uh, and again, we have the canopy built on top of that. But inside we have 150 cubic feet of storage. And then when we put up the top, uh, with the pop top, we have a lot more space. And so it's a two-level system. Uh, but give you a sense of, of uh, how much storage we have, you know, easily Yeti cooler, multiple uh, 
totes for carrying your equipment. For those people, you know, who are supporting emergency response and, and evacuations and uh, emergency field hospitals, you know, they'll fit in here as a full kit. You can bring them out and then this unit supports what you're doing. Uh, again, we have ways to, to fill multiple jerry cans of water running out of the water system, which is inside uh, this container. And so what you see here is the unit has a 40 gallon tank. You can see it's just over half full in this case. So the water maker, it generates the water, it runs through a Guzzle H2O filtration system, which includes not only particulates, but also a UV filter. So it's entirely clean water when it passes into the tank. And then there's a 12 volt pump that allows you to, you know, uh, go and uh, fill your tank, fill your waters or outdoor shower or anything else that you need uh, from an operating standpoint. And so we'll give you a little bit of a tour in here. What you can also see is up here, we have some cushions and sleeping bags. If you want to overnight in here, uh, you basically have a queen bed up above and a twin bed down below. So you can fit a lot of people in here if you'd like. Uh, if you want this, when this pops up, you got plenty of room. You can also store more solar panels up there. So again, if you're using this more as an equipment storage unit, uh, you go to a remote job site, you got a massive amount of volume to put all your tools and equipment, lock it up overnight. And then if you, know, if you need to, you can also store more solar rays to set up for more power, depending on your work site requirements. If your weekend warrior, as you can see, there's lots of equipment. You can set up your camp, you set up your tents. This becomes your base camp. If you're an off-roader, tow this in with your Jeep. This becomes your base camp, spend days uh, or all day out in, in the bush or overlanding and you come back and you have your awesome utilities here. Um, I own a Sprinter van. You basically have the same functionality, you know, fridge, power, water, uh, overnight accommodations, lots of storage, lots of capability. So uh, we'll show you a few more features here coming up. Okay, so we have a remote. I started the uh, raising process. Uh, so it takes a, about a minute for it to fully go up. As you can see, we have a tent enclosure uh, that, that gives you this pop top effect that gives you a lot of additional space inside. Uh, you also have, want to show some other features where this is where we can plug in four additional arrays to create another uh, four and a half kilowatts of power. These are array strings. Uh, also just wanted to show this is where our atmospheric water generator is, where we take our air in, generates water, which is stored on board. And so this is part of the deployment process. Okay, here we are with the arrays deployed. Again, what you see here is 750 watts up there, 750 watts down here, so 1.5 kilowatts, which is a lot of power. Um, this is sufficient to run your home, uh, cabin, remote work site. Uh, and what's beautiful about this is this will charge your batteries during the course of the day. As we talked about, we can also hook up a generator and we'll demonstrate that. And what the generator allows you to do is just basically top off the batteries. You can run off the battery during the day or during the bulk of the day. And then you don't have to run the battery for 12 hours on your work site. It can be quiet, it can be peaceful. And you're only running the generator for about half an hour or an hour to recharge your battery. So to give you a sense here, we've also opened, we've shown the, uh, atmospheric water generator uh, and this is again fills up and, and feeds into a 40 gallon tank and you're also seeing the additional solar ray inputs so this expands uh, this power connectivity system by a factor of three it goes from 1500 watts to 4500 watts if you go with the larger generator we can go actually up to 6,000 6 kilowatts uh, you can also see the generator in plug right here and then an automatic generator start Okay, what I want to feature here is uh, the atmospheric water generator. Just give you a sense of how loud it is during operation or how not loud it is during operation. Um, so this is a steady state. Uh, again, give you some specs on this. It's designed, you know, optimal around 80 degrees and 60% humidity will generate 10 gallons a day. Uh, so yes, it'll take a couple days to fill our tank. But the point is, a lot of times these are sitting at remote sites and they can operate when you're not there. So when you show up, you have a fully charged battery and you have a fully full tank of water. So uh, 10 gallons a day is also ideal for supporting a typical family of four to six, uh, about two gallons of water per person. So there we just turn the water maker off to give you a sense of the you know, noise difference between uh, on and off. Either way, it's, it's not very loud. It will not distract you from having a good time or, or getting your work done here at the job site. 
So again, full functionality of this system, remote work site, um, you have out of atmospheric water generator, 15 kilowatt hour battery, six kilowatts of, of inverter capacity or 12 kilowatts of inverter capacity, all built in, road ready, go anywhere. Obviously you can see with the suspension, um, you know, this is not your, your typical RV trailer. This is an off-road overland vehicle. Hi, I'm Jason Andrews, founder of Blue Oasis. Learn more at blueoasis.com.